Hey guys, welcome in, welcome in. Appreciate you guys being here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to, hey Seinfeld friend. Appreciate you being here, appreciate it brother. Welcome in guys. Yep, yep, thank you very much. Um, fully up and operating 110%. Um, appreciate the share, appreciate the share guys. I've got some really, um, some really exciting news today. Some, so a lot of new stuff to go through. Um, we had uh, somebody bring in a, a unit, part of a unit that they bought. Um, so I've got tons of stuff here. Uh, we've got two other units that we're actively bidding on. Um, may be able to pick one up within the next day or two. Um, knock on wood. Hopefully we get that one. We're getting the warehouse set up for much more inventory. So I'm going to be starting to do uh, live unboxings and then. Um, uh, walk-in shops as well. Uh, so whole new chapter starting. So appreciate you being here. Be sure to uh, bookmark and follow for upcoming shows. Um, share the stream if you know anybody that's looking for. Um, I've got, I know there's a box of pops. There's like three big bags of plush. There's books. There's sealed games. There's sealed puzzles. There's, um, for you, for you coin collectors, I found a bunch of these. Um, again, I got books of stamps i mean, all this stuff i'm so excited to get going on this stuff with you guys i appreciate you being here um be sure to bookmark and follow share this live stream anybody that you know that is is looking for this kind of stuff um i'm just gonna grab i'm just gonna grab something here and just start um so i've got like all right we've got cecil b demille the ten commandments Sealed on VHS. We've got Samson and Delilah sealed on VHS. What else we got in here? Oh my goodness. We got a, a double pack of horror the horror DVDs. Quite a quite a combination. Jacob and Esther sealed. So we've got some religious ones and then we've got some horror flicks. Um, behind enemy, excuse me, behind enemy lines, two packs sealed. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Stonehenge, Nocturne, an anthology board game expansion. Okay, I'm not sure what this is, but we're going to run this baby. All right. This stuff is all sealed. So this is Stonehenge, Nocturne, Piazzo Publishing. So it's a, looks like a board uh, board game, role-playing game, expansion kit. It's one pound. All right. Look at Video games, um, it's it's all going to be new to me. I think I saw some in there. Um, stick with us. We're going to be going through some uh, some unboxing today. So let me uh, let me go through there and see what I find. Um, but yeah, I I don't know what I'm going to I don't know what I'm going to find. This is <laughs> this is a really exciting new frontier for me. So I'm um, appreciate you guys being here. So. Guys, take a look and so this is Stonehenge Nocturne. Contains bonus solitaire game. So it's a complete game. Twilight Time over Stonehenge, the Nocturne expansion to Stonehenge, an anthology board game. New sealed. Got a couple of those. Empty case for a Switch game. Anybody like the cases for, for Switch games? Okay, let's see here. Okay. 
package goes. Bufu, K Camp, Ugly Bud. Okay, why is that not adding here for me? Let me see why it's not adding. Oh, there we go. Confirm. All right. Da, 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 da. One pound. Confirm. There we go. Quantity must be one minimum. That's what I said. One. Great. All right, let's do that. Confirm. Caution. All right, there we go. 20 seconds. So we're going to start with Okay, why is that not running? Start auction. Let's get rid of that. We've got Esther and Jacob sealed VHS. We've got Samson and Delilah sealed VHS. It's running the game again. Ah. All right, let's see. Uh, give me one second here. Let me see if I can jump back in here. Figure out what's going on here. All right, here we go. So we got Samson and Delilah. Bearded guy, how's it going? I appreciate you being in here. Hey, guys, follow the bearded guy. Hey, bearded guy, can you uh, tell us what you got coming up? Uh, Shrek, uh, I do not know if I have any Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I'm just going to be going unboxing a bunch of different stuff. Um, nothing. <laughs> All right, so I've got that. I've got the Ten Commandments, sealed VHS, the original, uh, Cecil B. DeMille, Paramount Pictures, Millennium Collection. All right, let's see here. All right, so I've got that stuff going on. Just, all right, I, I just think those are cool. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research, see what those guys are. All right, let's get into the next box here. Holy cow. Harry Potter. This is a an old... Okay, so there's... Did you happen to bring the old Bibles? Um, no, I don't have them here, um, but check with me tomorrow when I get home. I should have some old Bibles at home. Got Harry Potter set. Okay, here we go. We got some, uh, got some hardback Harry Potters. Wow. See the Bible that was wrapped. Hmm? It, it wouldn't be back here right now. I don't know where. Might be back over on the shelf with the with the books. All right, so I've got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. That's hardback with the uh, with the cover on it. I've got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Prisoner of Azkaban. Sorcerer's Stone. Wow, this is a whole box of Harry Potter. Another Harry Potter. Phoenix. 
Okay, there's number two in the soft in the soft cover. Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix DVD. Dang, somebody was a Harry Potter fan. New Moon, Stephen Meyer. Isn't this um, isn't this like the Twilight series? Yeah, the Twilight Saga. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn. Anybody interested in that? Oh, now this is cool. It's, uh, it's not in the best of shape, but look at what that is. This is Fantastic Beats and Where to Find Them, property of Harry Potter. It's uh, It's got writing and then it's got like little notes in it that are actually printed with the book. This is says it's written by Newt. Commander, that is so cool. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, soft cover. The Bad Beginning, the first book by Lemony Stickit, uh, Snicket. Ton, again, again, a whole Harry Potter collection here, guys. I've got hardcover, I've got softcover. Any interest in, <clears throat> any interest in Harry Potter books? I've got number one, number two, number three, looks like number seven. Guys, let me know if you're interested in these or run these in the Harry Potter. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I got Cover. Okay, we're going to run the Order of the Phoenix. Run the whole box of Harry Potter stuff. Um, I don't, how many, how many books are there? Are there six or seven? Okay. So let me see what I've got here. So I've got, that's five. Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Sorcerer's Stone. That's one, two, three, four. Chamber of Secrets, Chamber of Secrets, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner, yeah, I do not have the entire series here, so I've got, I've got several of uh, the Phoenix, I've got several of the Chamber of Secrets, and then I've got one of the Sorcerer's Stone, one of one of the Prisoner of Azkaban. So I don't have the entire series here. So if you're interested, um, you don't want me to lot a few of them. Any trading card games? Um, I did see um, I did see some LOL doll trading cards in the box not sure if that's what you're looking for but um like i said i don't have i don't have a handle on what i've got because it's all unboxing so starting bid on the entire set of harry potter first of all let me get a weight on this sucker thank you that's yeah Oh boy. 
<laughs> Let's see here. We'll do that again. Okay, clear that. We'll go check it. <laughs> That's over what this thing will take. Yeah, shipping is going to be quite a bit on that. Hey, vendor give, welcome in, welcome in, guys. So this is this is all I'm I'm just stuff I've seen for the first time today. Going through some storage unit stuff, um, seeing what I got here. I've got this whole big box right here. This is full of Harry Potter books, uh, a lot of hardback, and then some softback, soft cover. And then one new moon book and one movie DVD. I mean, this is just, I mean, just let me, let me give you an idea here. Well, 40 pounds, 50 pounds. Maybe. Let's take out about half of this. So that's going to be probably about 35 pounds. What is the Nocturne game sealed? Yeah, that is, um, I've got that starting at five bucks. I've got two of them. So the Harry Potter box is going to be about 35 pounds. If you guys want me to run that, uh, I'll run that whole thing for 20 bucks. So let me know. Um, in fact, let me do this. Uh-oh, what's going on? <laughs> I am unboxing stuff, guys. I am unboxing uh, for the first time. I've got a Harry Potter collection of books here. 35 pounds of books that somebody wanted me to uh, give them a price on. Do a book show. I might have to do a book show with these or just put them out on the shelves. Because I do not have a, uh, a wait for these guys. Give me one second here, guys. Find any video games yet? I found one that was empty. Um, let me uh, Give me one second here, guys. Be right back here. Let's see. Okay. What was it? Is Splatoon for a Switch? So, is anybody interested in that uh, Nocturne for Nocturne for five dollars? And like I said, it's sealed. There's actually four new games inside. Hey, Vermont, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, buddy. Okay, let me put this back in here. Oops. All right. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, you guys are looking at the warehouse. Welcome back. <laughs> All right, so let me know if somebody's interested in this Harry Potter collection that's 35 pounds. I will put it in the buy now because I can't put a, uh, I can't add a shipping profile for some reason at this moment at 35 pounds. So let me see if I can do it this way.
yeah, I can't do, I can't add a shipping profile for my computer. So I'm gonna run this again. Close this. Are you using media postage rate? Um, I don't think uh, Whatnot has that, but I, I can look into that. But this is, um, I'm just doing all poundage. So you can ship books if they're in a box and call it uh, media, media rate. I was not aware of that. Apologize for the, the sound over there. We've got people working. Uh, let's see here. So that's running right now for five bucks. So 52, I will look into that um, and rerun these at media and rerun these books at media rate. I appreciate the, uh, the input. So I've got two of these Stonehenge Nocturne. There's actually four games inside this seal. Something that I was not aware of. All right, so I'm gonna put these Harry Potter books aside. Oh, well. Got another set of classic Bible movies, uh, classic biblical tales, five pack, Constantine and the Cross, David and Goliath, Esther and the King, Herod the Great, and Saul and David, all sealed. Oh, this I like this. Hmm. Charles Dickens, five novels, novels, novels. These are novels. <laughs> Bonded leather with ribbon marker. Check that out. That is absolutely gorgeous. Charles Dickens collection. So this guy, all right, that guy can run. $58. Where are we? Where are we? Where's Charles? Sealed. Storage Madness, how you doing? Appreciate you coming in. So, yeah, the Charles Dickens is eight bucks. Come on, guys. You got it. Oh, nope. You got a uh, got an issue with your payment. Check that out. Um Check your check your payment and see if we can get that gone through. And that was Terry Five Me Two Thousand T E R R I Five Me Terry Five Me. Yeah. So be sure to check your payment there, and um, we'll see if we can find. Also, guys, I do have all the fishing stuff in the buy now, um, buy now <laughs> in the store that you can. Uh, you can pick up, but yeah, Terry, check, make sure that you check your, your payment. Oh my gosh. It's a Furby with uh, the little beads. It's got the little beads inside from 1999. Made by Tiger. Tiger Electronics, 1999. Ruby Plush. And this is person. Check this guy out. That is a Furby plush with the beads. Made by Tiger Electronics in nineteen ninety nine. Thank you. 
All right, no interest in that one. Um, I do not see where it fixed it. Let me uh, let me see here. Sold, pending. Looks like it did go through, Terry. So thank you. All right, so got this. Got twin t the two towers, Lord of the Rings set. Uh, special edition DVD. Any interest in the two towers? Sasquatch Dad, how you doing? Hey guys, if you uh, if you want to shout out your shows while you're here, let me know what you've got going on. Um, and be sure to give us a follow and bookmark our upcoming shows. We're going to be doing more live unboxing. I've got um, a couple storage units that we're looking into this week. Hopefully we'll have one possibly tomorrow to, uh, to pick up. And then I've got the walk-in shop here on Tuesday and Thursday. And then I've got a really cool show tomorrow at home. Legos, Barbies, um, NASCAR die cast, um, all bunch of good stuff next. Like I said, tomorrow, uh, bookmark that show for tomorrow. So no interest in the twin town, the two towers. All right. I've got, it's going to be a flat rate box. Coin books. Oops. Uh, coin. Coin collectors books. New books. So all of these books, these are all empty. So this is Liberty Head, Morgan Dime, Morgan Quarter. And yeah, these are all empty. Nickel, so that's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen of these plus. quarters for the for the state quarters we've got one two three of those and then one two three one two three four five six seven eight eight of these guys no coins in any of these but all of those supplies for um For any coin collectors out there, you've got pricing guides, you've got everything on there. And for everything I just showed you in a flat rate box for 15 bucks. I mean, you've got all of that stuff. All of that stuff there. Plus the pricing guide. Eight of those. You've got the books for the collector's quarters. You've got Jefferson nickels, you got the Buffalo nickels, you got the Lincoln cents, all of these. No, they're all empty. They're all new, ready to be filled by any collector. And like I said, that'll go in a flat rate box. Oh, let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm getting ahead of myself here. There we go. How's that? Let's get rid of those. Everybody want to take those home? 
all of these. Corey, my man, welcome in, guys. Hey, guys, if you're not following Corey, you're not having fun on whatnot. Um, Corey, this I'm going through my first uh, our first unit here. Hey, brother, appreciate you. Um, all these coin collector books. How come flat rate is 1867? Wow. Seriously? Oh, no, no, no. Um, because it's set, I can't set flat rate on that, but just know that I will be sending it flat rate. So you will be charged the flat rate price because I got to change that after the show. So whatever the flat rate is, um, I think it's eight ninety five, isn't it, Corey, for a large flat rate? So that's you'll you'll get charged the eight ninety five for shipping, Seinfeld. It's just during the show I can't list. Yeah, so it it starts out at ground advantage, and then I have to go in after the show and change it to a flat rate box. So I will do that. Um, you want me to run it again? If you're interested in that, I'll run it again. If not, I'll just move on. But yeah, anything that I'm going to put in a flat rate, I can't list it as flat rate um, through the app right now. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. Now, now we're going to get some serious stuff here. Serious collector stuff. These are stamps. And so the statehood of Montana. Okay, I've got to... Uh, I've got to I've got to take you guys off here and take a look at this. All right. This is just one book. Oh, we do have some 80s baseball cards, guys. I mean, this Got that book. Those are all stamp books, and they've all got stamps in it. Um, I don't have anything Space Jam today. I think I may have a couple Space Jam t-shirts at home. Uh, Jacob, if you send me a message, I'll see what I have. I mean, look at that. Look at that. American Commemorative Collection stamps. Um, where are our stamp collectors in here? Let me run some stamps here for you guys. This is going to be another one. Yeah, see, just one book is over seven pounds. So this is also going to be on a flat rate. Let's see here. Add that. Click add. American commemorative. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Okay, so we'll do five dollars. Each page is 12 bucks. Oh. So we got one, two, three, four of those. Shipping profile. Oh, I know what I, I know what I can do here. I can do, uh, where is it, four, six. No, there it is, where it is. Where is it, where is it? I've got it right there, eight pound item. Confirm. All right, let's see here, where are we? Where'd my stamps go? Where'd my stamps go? There we go. All right.
there's the first book right there. American Commemorative, North Dakota Statehood, World Stamp Expo, United States Senate. And they've all got uncanceled stamps in them, guys. These are all uncanceled stamps. And I'm starting these 20 bucks a piece for these books. Each page is 10 to 12 dollars. And like I said, they're all uncanceled stamps. So if we've got any stamp collectors in here, I've got four of those. Then I've got Winter Sports, Kwanzaa, Monster Movies. Oh, check that out. Got Monster Movies, oh, commemorative. Cool. And I've got Economic Commission for Europe. I've got Human Rights, Article 14, World Heritage, Human Rights again. Uh, there, Okay, these do have some canceled stamps, and these are not canceled stamps. More canceled. Got postcards. Again, 20 bucks a piece for these books. Um, I do have, hey Dodgers, I do have the 1980s uh, baseball cards. Let me see those. All right. Let's do baseball cards. So that is two, three pounds. Okay, it looks like we've got, let me open this up here. Holy cow. Ruben Sierra. Okay, just, just kind of give you an idea. I want to be careful not to touch too many of them, but this is what you're looking at here. Looks like that's the 90s. So 80s and 90s looks like Fred McGriff, Corey Snyder. Dave Henderson, outfielder. Rick Rochelle, Kevin Sider, Dave Peach, Tony Gwynn. Oh, we've got drawn ones and picture ones all in that box let me just uh starting price two to three pounds okay i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna make this so you can't pass on them Got all of these. All of these right here. And I'll autograph them all. Got 80s, 90s. Very nice collection. All of them are very straight. Very. Jeff Ballard, Bob Malacky, Terry Leach. Chuck Cram, Jeff Pico. All right, no interest. All right, no worries. Somebody will want them. I'm not worried about that. All right, we got Harry Potter puzzle. It's sealed, but the seal is so old, it keeps popping up. Harry Potter Prime 3D puzzle. Any Aladdin stuff. Again, Trent, I'm going through boxes. Um, first time going through boxes. I have not seen any Aladdin stuff yet. Um, can you show them coin books? Um, that's so far. That's the only baseball cards that I've found so far. Um, guys, be sure to bookmark my show and follow me. Um, I'll show the coin books again. Um, let me do this Harry Potter puzzle. Um, so this is... 3D puzzle, new, five bucks. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see that da, da, da. one to two pounds. Da, 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 da. Where are we? Where's one to two pounds? Confirm. Harry Potter. Harry Potter puzzle, 3D. New old stock. You can tell it's old stock because this tape is, or this little seal is worn. But that's new. I've got three of these guys. Harry Potter, new puzzle. All right. So somebody wanted to look at the, the coin books. So these coin books, you've got all of these coin books here. The nickels, dimes, quarters, nickels, dimes, and then you've got three of these quarter books. Again, they don't have anything in them. They are the books. And then you've got eight of these guys. Yeah, I see it. I see a deals. So let me know if you're, um, those are the coin books that I have. Did you want me to run those again? Let me know if you want me to run those coin books. Um, I do have some slot cars. Um, okay, where are we? You said you wanted to see the Harry Potter books. So this is going to be 35 pounds in shipping. We've got like six of these. We got the Prisoner of Basketball, Sorcerer's Stone, got Chamber of Secrets. Looks like I've got one, two, three of those. I've got the Harry Potter movie. I've got these older ones. Got those three down there. Got these guys here, Chamber of Secrets. And all those books down there are all the same. They are the Order of the Phoenix. And then I've got one that is Series of Unfortunate Events and New Moon. Like I said, all those, that's a 35 pound box. Uh, how much for the box at Harry Potter? Uh, I'll start that at 30 bucks for that plus shipping. And deals, um, I can't put a, um, a shipping profile on right now. So if you want it, give me a thumbs up and I will put it in the, in the market for you. Or if anybody else wants it. Yeah, well, I'm not in charge of that. <laughs> I added the movie in there and a couple other things in there. But if somebody wants it, I'll do 20. If that's what I said before, let me see. Did I say 20? If I said 20, then we'll, we'll do 20. Yep. I said 20. All right. So let me know. I can run it. Um, Yes, thank you. Yeah, I'll do 20 then. If I said it, I, I'm, I'm going to stick to it. So let me know what you want me to do on that. I'm out of here, dude. So send me a message on the Harry Potter, and I will list that for you. And, and we'll go from there.
I, again, I can't tell you what shipping is. It's going to be 35 pounds. I'm in Washington. My zip code is 98503. So if you can go on to Whatnot's shipping page, um, that can tell you the shipping, or I can I can give that to you later. Probably going to be about the same in shipping because <coughs> that's 35 pounds. Uh, but I was also told that um, I could possibly do media rate. So I'm going to look into that after the show. Um, didn't realize I could do media rate for that many books. But um, yeah, so I will definitely, um, yeah, I'll look at the, I'll look into that for you right after the show. Send me a message deals and I'll work on that for you so that I can, um, I can run that again. Um, be ready for that. Do I have IG? Uh, yes, I do. Um, just uh, Bigfoot Bargain Hunter. You should see me under, under there, Bigfoot Bargain Hunter on Instagram. If not, uh, look for me under my Facebook, Todd Griffith. Hey, look, I joined. <laughs> All right, let me, uh, let me start going through some more stuff here. So we got the Harry Potter book. I've got uh, the Brady Bunch. Brady Bunch party game, five bucks. I've got Making Bad Situations Worse, Hilarious Campy Party Game for Adults. Five bucks. This is an adult product, 2018, Kemper Games. Nah, three bucks. We'll start these out at three bucks. Oh, everybody's favorite. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? These games are starting at three bucks. Sealed. See, I wasn't smarter than the fifth grader because I had it upside down. <laughs> Uh, ages eight, eight and up, two to four players. Which just had a year on it. But who remembers watching that show, Jeff, Jeff Foxworthy? Awesome show, awesome guy. Yeah. Great game. All right, stuff balloons. Make fantastic stuff balloons. Kit maker. Start that out at three dollars. That's cool. It's got all the equipment that you need for it. It's still sealed. Comics. I have not run into any comics yet. Again, I'm still getting into this unit here. <clears throat> I've got a ton of Avon cologne. Let me see if I can open one of these. Oh, check this out. These are full bottles. In the boxes. Avon Cologne. I'm going to be starting these at $3. Look at this. Dune Buggy. The glass Avon Cologne bottles. $3. Packard Roadster. Okay, now this is this is an interesting one. Avon French telephone. Check that out. What were the VHS? <laughs> Which one? I've got uh, so the VHS sets I've got are all like um, biblical movies back from back in the day. So we've got. Um, Constantine and the Cross, David and Goliath, Esther and the King, Herod the Great, Saul and David. That's all one set. I've got Jacob and Esther sealed. I've got the Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments, the original Ten Commandments sealed. I've got the original Samson and Delilah sealed. I've got these games sealed. 
got the two towers DVD. This is not sealed, but they're all there. The special edition. Guys, I'm starting everything at three bucks. So let me know what you want. All right, let's move on. Uh-oh. I've got Chromebooks. HP Chromebooks. HP Chromebooks. Lenovo Chromebook. And a Lenovo Chromebook. All right. No cords, not tested. But all the keys are functioning. All the keys are responsive. I don't think the, any of them have any juice left in them. We got one, two, three, four, five. Shipping profile. Three, four. Okay, these are this is a Le Lenovo Chromebook, untested but all the buttons are responsive. They've been sitting in boxes in a storage unit. I've got HP and Lenovo Chromebooks. Anybody's interested in any of these? Again, they've got no power because they've been sitting. I do not have the cable to charge them. Let me know if there's any interest. I've got five of them available right now to go. If you want all five, I'll do a bulk deal, and those will be in a flat rate. Where did those come from? They were in one of the boxes that he left. No shit. All right. I've got pops. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. Got Squid Game. Never heard of that Squid Game. Number one, two, two, one. And I'm I'm certain all the pops at two bucks, guys. Justice League. The Demon. Another Squid Game. One two two two. So I've got one two two one and one two two two. All the, all the pops are starting at two bucks, guys. Etta Candy, Wonder Woman. Squid Game, 1226, The Masked Worker. Batgirl, a Rook Candy, Vinyl Collectible. By DC Comics, Funko. Pops at $2 a pop. No kidding. Come on, guys. Let me know what you want. Oh. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 Electro. Bobblehead. Glow in the dark. Electro. Two bucks. Come on, guys. Wake up. Another rock candy. Batgirl. Run Star Wars Pop. Which one was Star Wars? Got Aliens. Ripley. 
Got Katie. Oh, there we go. I do see a Star Wars. Oh my God. Are you serious? I said two bucks, didn't I? I said two bucks, didn't I? I said two dollars. All right. I'm going to run that for two dollars. Thor. Game of Thrones. All right. Let's 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 run the Star Wars. Guys, you guys are getting killer deals here. Wake up, wake up. I'm just giving this stuff away. Check this out. Star Wars Rogue One, Wobbler, Bobbleheads. This is not, yeah, it is by Funko, but it's not your standard Funko Pop. This is Star Wars Rogue One. It's got a few little issues on the corners. It's got a little bit of scratches on the plastic, but other than that, it is beautiful condition. I'm going to run that baby right now. And that is a one pounder because I'm going to pack it. Uh, Star Wars Funko, $2. Um, again, no Space Jam right now. I might have one or two t-shirts at home. So uh, bookmark my show tomorrow and ask me tomorrow. I might still have one or two Space Jam t-shirts. Uh, quantity one, shipping profile. Uh, let's, I can get that under a pound with shipping, with packing. Yeah, I can get that under a pound. Confirm. Oh, no worries, no worries. I know, I know how you feel. All right, let's see. Star Wars. There we go. All right, guys. Oops. Let me close that. All right, I'm going to give you guys some time to... Uh... All right. Come on, guys. This is Star Wars. We're at three bucks. Star Wars Wobbler, Bobbleheads by Funko. We're at four dollars. This is Rogue One, guys. There's the UPC. We got three seconds left at six bucks, seven bucks. You guys, want to scan that? See if that's something that you want. We're at seven dollars down to three seconds, two seconds. Somebody's gonna take it home for seven bucks. Terry, that's your second item. Congratulations, seven bucks. Terry five me. The Jordan backpack. Was this from the unit? Jordan backpack. Yes, no, maybe so. All right, um, any more of those Funkos? I've got tons of those Funkos. I've got glue tea from Rick and Morty. Okay, you know, you're right. I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna start throwing out some, uh, some Funkos here. I'm just gonna do two dollars all right so I'm gonna so I've got Batgirl I've got Justice League I've got Squid Game I've got Marvel, Shang, Shang Lu. 
We got Batgirl Ooh. twice. We got Spider Man. We got Alien. We got Thor. We got Squid Game. Okay, I'm just gonna start running these guys. Let me uh, let me get them all loaded. And we're gonna go individually. And we're gonna go. Let me get let me get a max weight on this. So that is going to be five nine. So that is where's eight to twelve, eight to eleven. Confirm. Sorry guys. All right, I'm gonna start auction. This is DC Bombshells Batgirl, two dollars. There's UPC if you want to see what you're getting. By Funko. All right. We've got Etta Candy from Wonder Woman. Remember, she was the uh, the assistant. Etta Candy Funko. Nope. All right, we've got Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, Breen of Tarth. Breen of Tarth. Uh, I do not know if I've got any Sony Walkmans um, just doing some, um, some live unboxing. Terry five takes that Funko pop for two bucks. Who wants it? Terry. Terry. Terry again. Terry is just getting some killer deals here today. All right, let's do. Okay. Are you guys ready for this one? Are you guys ready for this one? Oh, terrify me. Okay. Here we go. Electro bobblehead glow in the dark. From Spider-Man 2. Remember Electro from Spider-Man 2? Glow in the dark. Nope. All right. Got another Batgirl. <laughs> you know, um, hey, Corey, welcome in. Welcome back. I'm not sure if you came back or not, but uh, I've got Batgirl here. Funko sent me a message. I appreciate it. Hey, guys, if you're not following Corey, you're missing out on a lot of fun and whatnot. Um, great guy. Great source of motivation. And... Um, oh, so Bam Bam, Bam Bam just took this one home for two bucks. I will, I will reach out to you, Corey. I appreciate it. Bam Bam Nine. Okay, we got Bam Bam Nine on that one. All right, next one we've got. This guy here. 
So Ellen Ripley from Aliens. Bam Bam 9 won that one. Terrify Me is winning at two bucks, guys. You guys are getting some Funkos for some killer deals. Bam Bam's at $4. Ellen Ripley from Alien. We're at five for Terrify Me. Terrify Me just won that for five bucks. That's Terry again. This was terrified me. Yep. Yeah. All right. We've got Ertigan the Demon from Justice League. Storage Madness, welcome in. Cyberpunk 2077 pops. Um, I can I can look. I'm just going through to see what I got in this box here. I'll let you know. Justice League number 459. Going, going, and oh, Treasure jumped in at two bucks. You can't you can't beat that, guys, really. Treasures thrift. Treasures thrifts finds. At two bucks. Treasures thrifts finds. Yeah. All right, number eight. Marvel Comics Thor. Female Thor. Got a few little issues with the with the the opening, but beautiful, beautiful piece. You're gonna make so much money on these. Treasure. Treasure Tiffs takes that one down. All right, we've got. KT from Shang-Chi, Legend of the Ten Rings from Marvel, number 852. Only at Target. Only at Target. And not going home today. All right, then we've got the Squid Game. Number 10. Okay, we've got Squid Game 1221. This is player 199 Ali. I know nothing of the Squid Game. <laughs> we are at $2, going down three, two, one. All right. Put the Squid Games away. I've got some more Funkos over here. And then we'll move on to something else. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I didn't see another Star Wars pop. I will look, but I didn't see another one. Stormtrooper? Uh, I don't know. Was it uh, was it the masked worker? So I did not see a stormtrooper. Stormtrooper in those. If I find one, I will bring it out. So I've got one, two, three, four, four more Funkos to go. Let me do, let me add this. Quick add. $2. 
two bucks. Dollars. Okay, select. Eight to eleven. Confirm. All right. Let's see what it is. Ops. All right. Give me one second here, guys. It's not loading here for me. Pops. All right, let's start this. Rick and Morty, Gloaty, Rick and Morty, 575. Treasure's going to take home another one for two bucks, guys. You guys are letting Treasure take everything home. Okay, Treasure, two bucks for the Rick and Morty. Got another Rick and Morty coming. Treasures, good treasures. Yep. Just right there. Rick and Morty. Crystal, uh, Rick with the crystal skull. Number six ninety two. Guys, these Funko Pops are two bucks. Treasures just going to be taking all these home, isn't he? Or he or she or they. Treasure, do you have show on here or are you on another platform? Because if you're on here, shout, shout out your show. Let people know when you're going to be selling these. Yeah, so tell us about your show. What are you doing? When are you doing it? And that's Treasures again. People want to know where to find good stuff. And I already know this is good stuff. So Boastful Loki. Marvel Studios. So tons of Lego. Many figures like crazy tomorrow. All right, nobody on that. Suicide Squad Enchantress. Suicide Squad Enchantress. Bam. There's the code. There's no code there. No code there? Where's the code? <laughs> no soup for you. <laughs> All right. Take a snapshot. Two, one, zero. Nope. Nobody got that one. All right. All right. Those will be out for people in our store. Uh, anybody on those Chromebooks? So be sure to check my show tomorrow at 6 p.m. for the Legos. Um, I've got the games here. What do we got here? These are seventy dollars. Interesting. Got Burton snow boots. Looks like there's are these ski boots? No, they're it doesn't say it just says snow. I think they're ski boots. Uh, I have not run into any comics yet, Steven. I will uh let you guys know. Like I said, this is all unboxing. Snowboard, I think. Yeah. Those are called Bigfoot boots. <laughs> exactly. They're by Mint. They're Burton. By the Burton Mint. Used are seventy dollars. And we're running these at ten bucks. These are a size seven and a half U.S., five and a half U.K. Size thirty-nine European size to give you an idea what size they are. Let me know if you want me to run this. 
for 10 bucks. Yeah, you're right. Snowboard boots. Yeah, snowboard, snowboard boots. Good call. Good call. All right, so women's snowboarding. Can you show golf clubs? Yeah, all right, let me, I just pulled this out here. Let's see what's in this. Oh, goodness. What we got here? Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, how cool. Oh. For an activity scene? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> 1990. Porcelain. Porcelain. Uh, Figures. Manufactured in Taiwan for Dynasty Classics, Carson, California. From Dan, Christmas 1990. I mean, these are absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be careful with these. I think they're like porcelain. Holy cow. These are, these are I think these are porcelain or ceramic. Can somebody take a shot of that? I mean, because they're, these are absolutely gorgeous. Cool. I'll tell you what they are. It's the entire nativity set. Yep, they're porcelain. Yeah, porcelain. Yeah, they're porcelain. And we've also got, looks like some extra stuff in here for it. We've got the angels. Watching overhead. Mm. And it's got some starlights. Looks like somebody had this whole thing. I do not see any Yadro marks on them. What are Yadro marks? Yadro is, is a brand. Oh. Um, I don't I don't see any marks on them. Oh no, they're not Yadro because I, I read what, what it said on the back here. It is Manufactured in Taiwan for Dynasty Catholic, Dynasty Classics, Carson, California. So that comes with that. That comes with all the uh, little angel figures. Angel figures made in Taiwan. There's one, two, three four, five, six. oh, there's even a, another baby Jesus, six, a couple candles and the starlights. Absolutely gorgeous here. All right, let me get this back in the box. Remember, people are always asking what's in the box. Well, now you know what's in the box. I'm going to seal that back up. Let me see. Wait on this. Okay, that's going to be an eight pounder. Yes, I can sure see show those to you, Ria. How's it going? I appreciate you being here. Let's do the. Um, Oops. 13 snow boots. And that is, where's my eight pound item? 13 snow boots, size 7 by 5. Yeah, let me run this. That's that. Got the box already to ship. 20 bucks for that entire set with the extra angels and the extra baby Jesus, plus the lights, everything in there. All right. That's people probably 
a little burnt out on Christmas right now, so I will take a look at those later. Golf clubs. So what you're looking for, we got the Ping G G15. Very nice grip. The grip looks very good. We've got that, we've got the Cougar X-Cat Troublewood, number four. We've got, oh, look at that. Not sure what that one is. I'm not a golfer yet, so I couldn't tell you. Apollo. Looks like the grip is a little older. But that's an Apollo. Nice heavy. Got a sand wedge by Smarts by Cleveland. Got a Cleveland. A decent grip on it. And I've got another Cleveland. A decent grip on it as well. Any interest in any of those golf clubs? Run the ping and both Clevelands. Okay, so let's do the ping. Where are we? Where's that ping? Uh, there's the Cleveland. There's the ping. All right. So let's run the ping. Okay. So these are going to be starting at 20 a piece. Ping. Club. Oops. One, uh, two. Okay, so we're running the ping right now. Twenty dollars. Any interest in the ping at twenty dollars? And that looks like that's got the newer grip. All right, nope. And the Clevelands are gonna be twenty bucks a piece. So if there's any interest in there, I'll run them. If not, then they're just gonna stay in the store. I'll just put them on here and see. Uh, let's see which one. Uh, let's see here. The Cougar. There's the Cleveland. Where's the other Cleveland? Cleveland. All right. Uh, S twenty. Number 
two pounds. So there's this Cleveland here. We're going to run that Cleveland. Running that one. See, where's the other Cleveland? Where's the other Cleveland? There's the other Cleveland. All right, so that's. The other Cleveland, you want to run that one at 20 or no? Yeah. No interest? Okay, no worries. I'll just uh, I'll just put them back. Not a problem. All right. Um, did anybody want to see this guy here? The Apollo. Somebody said they wanted to look at the Apollo for 20. Somebody was asking for the two, both Clevelands for 20. Anybody want the Apollo? Thanks for sharing, Rio. I appreciate it. Any knives? <laughs> you missed out on some awesome knives a couple weeks ago. Um, I have not found any knives in this storage unit, but like I said, um, Hey, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, using the link that Rio sent. Show the clubs again. Which, oh, the clubs. Okay. So we've got the Cougar X Cat. I've got, and all the clubs are 20 bucks a piece. Got the Apollo. Got the ping. Ping's got a nice grip on it. TFC 149, tip flex control. And then I've got two Clevelands. And each club is it's going to start at 20 bucks. Let me know if you want me to run these again. So that's what we got for clubs today. 20 bucks a piece. Yep, and I'll show the commemorative stamp books again. So 20 bucks a piece on the clubs. Let me know if you want me to run any of those for you. And we do have the uh, the shipping tubes for them, so not a problem with that. 60 for all of them if you take them all. There's 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 60 for all of them. Oh, well, I was just told that we will do 60 bucks for all of them. Anybody want the whole, the whole kit and caboodle for 60 bucks? So you got two cleats. Excuse me, two Clevelands, a ping, an Apollo, and partridge in a pear tree. I'm just kidding. <laughs> a, a ping, an Apollo, two Clevelands, and a Cougar X Cat. 60 bucks. One, two, three, four, five clubs for 60 bucks.
Anybody, anybody? Bueller, Bueller. You know what? Uh, yeah, that's gonna be, all right. Stay, sit, stay. Let's do golf club set six mixed sixty dollars. That. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got. Got all of them. I'm sorry, there's not six, there's five. Five for 60 bucks. That ping itself is worth that, guys. Actually, that ping itself is worth double that. All right, no worries. Nobody wanted those? All right. Okay, let's see here. Uh, you wanted to look at the commemorative drawing book. All right, here we go. We've got, hoo 13 of these guys. We've got Jefferson Nichols. We've got Buffalo Nichols. We've got Washington Quarters, Washington Quarters, Roosevelt Dimes, Lincoln Cents. We've got Barber Liberty Head, Morgan Quarters, Mercury Dimes, Mercury Dimes, Lincoln Cents, Ben Franklin, Half Dollars, Jefferson Nichols. These are all coin books. Oh, I thought you said the coin books. No, the commemorative ones. I want the other ones. You want stamp books. All right. Okay. Let me go back here. Hold on one second here. Stamp. Oop. How much on the coin books? Are you ready for this? That whole box for six bucks. Do you want them, Dodgers? They're all empty, but I didn't get to finish showing what's in there because with all those, you also get three of these. And you get one, two, you get eight of these. Yeah, oh, yeah, those are all empty. All right, so let's look at the uh, stamp collector book. These are not empty. These are not empty at all. I mean, just, I'm just gonna flip through some of these pages here. I mean, that's storage madness. How you doing? Hi guys. Hey, does anybody have a show that they want to shout out? I'm happy to, uh, to shout you guys out if you have shows that you want to talk about, but yeah, so that, I mean, so let me, uh, so the stamp collector, that's, I'm starting that at 20 bucks. That's a $300 book guys. I'm starting these out at 20 bucks. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Anybody want, I'm going to, I'm going to run this one just because that's what I do.
20 bucks. War. Yes, um, you need to see the 1990s Christmas ornaments that I've got. Show tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Central. Storage Madness tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. Central. Can somebody um, tag Storage Madness so somebody can uh, check him out or check them out? All right, nobody wants the stamp books. So War, um, Vintage Christmas. <laughs> You're going to love this. 1990. You're looking for older than 1990? That's what I've got. All right, no worries. All right, let's see what else have I got here. Um, I've got the Avon bottles. I've got Robinson Cano, 2014 Seattle Mariners bobblehead. Uh, I've got the HP and Lenovo Chromebooks. Untested, but all the all the keys and everything look like they're really responsive. Um, I've got a Mariner's jacket. Any fishing? So if you go in to buy it now, I've got um, I've got new in the box strike bait pliers, uh, fish scale um, pliers, fish scale, um, the fishing net, and line spooler. Those are all in the buy now, and you can get those right now. I'll pack them up for you and ship them out at, at the end of the show. Check those out in the buy now right now. All sorts of fishing stuff. Vintage. I'm not sure if those are older, but let's take a look. Yeah, this is vintage. It's like 70-something, 1970s. All right. Uh, war. I Googled it already. Festive velveteen and tapestry Tapestry stocking, hand painted porcelain figure holds stocking open. Made in Taiwan. I do not see a date on it. But there is the UPC. I don't think you're going to find anything on the UPC because <laughs> they're that old. But I mean, look at the detail on that. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me know if you're interested in that one. I also have another one. Uh, traditions, holiday stocking. It's a bear. Start those at two or three dollars. No, thanks. Okay. No worries. Okay. All right. Those will just go in the store. Mariner's coat. That is a size medium. You want to start that at five bucks? We'll start that at five bucks. That's going to be one to two. Yes. Let me, uh, let me get some games out here for you as soon as I add this. Quick add. There's coach. Five bucks. One to two pounds. All right, size medium, Mariners, 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 Mariners. It looks like, I mean, it's from a storage unit, from Majestic, but I don't see any holes in it. I think somebody just left it in their storage unit and forgot about it. Five bucks. Somebody asked for it. All right, I can run that again later. I've also got the Jordan backpack um, games. So I've got Brady Bunch party game sealed. I've got making bad situations worth, 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 worth sealed. I've got, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Sealed. Uh, 
let's see. Oh boy. Okay, I've got I got puzzles. Yeah, X Men Wolverine sealed puzzle. Sealed, sealed, sealed. I've got Beko and Puzzle, thousand piece. That's some beautiful artwork. Oh, video games? No, I have not run into any video games yet. I've got puzzles. I've got David Bradley. I've got American Revolution puzzles. I've got Lost in Jigsaw. I've got Christmas scrapbook puzzle. Um, Global puzzle. New England Patriots. NFL puzzle. Oh, got an Eclipse. Jigsaw puzzle. These are all sealed, guys. What was this? Jig around the world. <laughs> Jig around the world. Toys, 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 toys. All right, let me see. Uh, let me see if we run into any here. Oh. Okay, he's got a smudge on him, but that's easy to clean off. Anybody know who that is? This is little seat pillow. The Disney team creating tomorrow's dream. Employee Forum 1995. So this was given to Disney employees only. 1995. I can't remember who that character is, though. But, I mean, I'll run that for two bucks. That's not Mickey. <laughs> Mickey's pants. <laughs> oh, they are. Oh, they are. There's the buttons. I, I just, I, I just that whined. So funny. You can see, I can't. Those are Mickey's pants. That's awesome. Yes, <laughs> those are the buttons. Good eye, good eye on that. Can't believe that. That is a good eye. All right, let's see what else have I got here. I've got another hooded hooded jacket. This is by Made in USA Bogner B O G N E R. Look at the back of that. That's absolutely absolutely gorgeous. Look at that design. And then the pockets are all zippered. <laughs> like you're sitting in Mickey's lap. <laughs> That's funny. But look at this. This is gorgeous. This is made in the USA, Bogner. I'm guessing it's a medium. I'd have I don't see and it's got inside pockets with the the little B on them for Bogner. It's embroidered. It's got the pull strings. So this is a size six nylon polymer, size six, made in the USA, Bogner, B-O-G-N-E-R, fiber fill. Anybody interested in that for five bucks? That's crazy. Got a vest. Ooh. Looks like a down vest by Pin in Hong Kong, extra large. All over a hundred dollars used of the bottoms. Um, that was a size six. Oh, two hundred dollars for that one. Yep. Yeah, I guess that's going on the 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 bay. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Oh, the, the vest? That's a nice one. XL. This is XL. This is made by, is it pin or? That looks like, yeah. Pin Hong Kong. Is that a P or? Pin, yeah. Yeah. Real, the, uh, I believe they're all different. I can take one quick look if you're interested. Anybody want this jack, this vest? 
All right, let me put these puzzles back. Those puzzles will sell really good in the store. Pass. All right. Okay. So the uh, the grading guide, Rio. The grading guides are all the same. You get eight of them, eight grading guides, and then 50 state quarters, 1999 to 2008, 1999 to 2008, 19, so you get three of those. And then it looks like all of these are different. Jefferson Nickel, Buffalo Nickel, Washington Quarters, starting from 1988, and this one is 1965 to 1987. 1965 dimes, Lincoln cents, starting in 1941, 82 to 1905, 1982 to 1905, 1941, 1909 to 1940. So you got two of them, Lincoln had sent from 1909 to 1940, 1916 to 1945. So you got two of those, two of those, three of the 1916s. Three of the 1909s, 1946. So you've got a very good variety. There's a couple of them that there's like two or three copies, but the rest. Why do I keep doing that? I'm fixated on the coins. All right, let's look at the second one. Yeah, they're all different. So I've got that one, that one. I mean, this one's got U.S. Naval Academy, Tennessee Williams, Republic of Paiu, Seasons Greeting 1995, Garden Flowers, Louis Armstrong, American Commemorative, Carousel Horses, Great Lakes, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, my God. And then this one. Oh. Twenty bucks a piece. All right, let me run the coat. Are uh, you talking about the coat or the the um, vest? The vest. You wanted the vest, right? Oh, the coat. Okay, word I'm giving on the code is 20 bucks. I'll run it and see if anybody wants it. Yeah. There's not one online under $100. Bogner, coach. No, it's not a co patch, it's a coach. What did I say that was a size six? Size six. Size six. All right, we're gonna start at 20. And that is uh, two to three pounds. And I'm gonna confirm that. And Coach. Come on. Come on. Why is it not letting me? It's frozen up on me. Here we go. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay, let's go back over here. Okay, Mariner's coach, Bogner coat. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Give me one second here. All right, there we go. Hey, 
There it is hooded. And that's the back. Bogner coat size six. Got to do 20 on it. All right. Okay, so 20 bucks a piece on the stamp books. Real, that's, um, you won't do a uh, bulk deal on the stamp books and the 20 bucks a piece, but those are well worth 20 bucks a piece. So I'll just show you really quick. So you get one of those, you get two of those, you get three of those, you get four of those, then you get one that is, whoa, geez, just tons of free ones, not free ones, I mean free as in not in a book, 15 cent stamps, looks like an Italian, looks like Pope, um, 16 cents, oh my goodness, okay, I don't know if you can see that. Hitler stamp, Earl Warren, Olympic baseball, man, man landed on the moon. You get one of those. Then you get this one, winter sports, Kwanzaa, supersonic flight, Madam CJ Walker, Nambia, United Nations headquarters, United Nations, Article 14. Science and technology, mission to mission to planet Earth. Those are the six. Those are the six stamp books, but they're 20 bucks a piece. Got to start at 20. You can't go any lower. But just that Hitler stamp alone. Uncanceled, not canceled. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, that's fine. All right, okay. All right, um, oh. What I found? Oh, yeah. Cabbage patch. What's the name? 1986. <laughs> I'm sorry, let's, let's do that. 1986. That. Oh, that was great. Butt crack, cabbage patch. Walt did 19, and the shirt he's wearing is a 1984. Look at that. And this one is also 1986. Cabbage patch kids. Signed, butt signed, <laughs> cabbage patch kids. That's the baby. It's got a little tear on the back of the shirt, but 1986, Cabbage Patch Kid and Cabbage Patch Baby. And that Disney shirt looks like it was probably for a baby, but they put it on the Cabbage Patch Kid because it's older than the Cabbage Patch Kid. Oh, is that a... What is that? Wish Factory. DC Comics Wish Factory. It's got the PVC beads inside. Games. So um, I've got a few games, board games. I don't have any video games, if that's what you're looking for. I've got board games, but not, not video games. I'll do a walk around here really quick and show you what we've got on the shelf. I got tons of plush here. I got, I've got Teddy Ruxpin. I've got Minnie Mouse. I want a VCR game. I got, who's this guy? This guy is Build a Bear Workshop. Oh, wow. That's... 
That's an interesting one. All right, so I've got another box back here. Oh, okay. Where are my Trekkies? Where are my Trekkies? Star Trek fans. Where are my Star Trek fans? Yeah, that was a Build-A-Bear. Are you interested in the Build-A-Bear? All right, let me uh, let me weigh this guy for you. All right, one to two. All right, let me run that. Build a bear. Five dollars. Number two. Confirm. Build. Build a bear. Start the auction. Start auction. Yeah, it looks like it's got two hearts on him. I don't. Oh, there it is. The. Uh, yeah, that thing doesn't work anymore. Sports cards. Um, I've got one box of 80s and 90s mixed baseball cards. Caddyshack finds KT Catties K A T T Y Caddyshack. How much? Five bucks. Five bucks. Can I see? Okay, baseball cards. See? Okay, you're done. <laughs> all right. Um, I mean this right here. So I'm just gonna pull out. So we've got like I don't want to handle them too much because you know the more you handle these cards, the more the value goes down. Yes or no on those? No? Okay, no worries. The right buyer will be around sometime. You know how it is. Um, just whatever you're looking for. Okay, Star Trek. Oh, my God. I saw these. Oh, God. Star Trek alert. Star Trek alert. These are by Applause. I used to work in grocery back in the day. Um, prime time, I do not have – Do I, I don't think we have any jerseys here. We might – Look over there on the on the rack. Let me. We're checking for jerseys. But I've got a Steve Young jersey at home for tomorrow's show. Steve Young Niners jersey at home tomorrow. Bookmark my show tomorrow, six p.m. Pacific time. Check this out, guys. It's a little dirty. You took them all. Did you take them all? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Applause, 1994, made in Indonesia. It's the Borg. Of course, not dishwasher safe. You know what happens if you put it in the dishwasher? It'll assimilate your dishwasher. So you don't want to put that in the dishwasher. Anybody interested in the Borg mug? From Applause, 1994. Rio has a show tonight running items from an estate sale. All different items going up everybody follow bookmark rio 13 reo 13 you know like reo speedwagon awesome group and reo 013 is an awesome reseller bookmark 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 follow check out tonight's show is that 7 p.m pacific central eastern because we're pacific here so Eastern, okay. Oh, I might have to keep this one. Nice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 1994, data. It's got some smudges, but I do not see 
any chips. I do not see any cracks. Oh, these are gorgeous. Okay, what is... Oh, there's one blemish right there. External blemish. Nothing that a Sharpie won't fix. <laughs> yeah, right. Nothing a Sharpie won't fix. So there's data and the Borg. Can I see the Teddy Ruxpin? Yes, absolutely. So anybody interested in data or the Borg mugs from Applause 1994? I I'm fine if you say no. <laughs> Certificate Authenticity. Hey, Ron, welcome in. You missed a whole 35-pound box of Harry Potter books and a Harry Potter 3D puzzle. You haven't missed them. They're still here. We got the Borg and Data mugs from 1994. All right, you want to see the Teddy Ruxpin? Okay, this came out of a storage unit, so I don't know what what the battery compartment is going to look like. This is 1985 Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, I'm sorry, 2017. You see that? So it is 2017 Teddy Ruxpin. Five dollars. Teddy's grandson, exactly. <laughs> oh, I think the eyes light up. Yeah, God, look at those, look at those eyes. Stare into my soul. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Okay, guys, really? Oh, wow. I wasn't sure who that was. That's the Joker. You know why I know that's the Joker? That's Batman. Because there's Batman. I'm Batman. Actually, I am Iron Man. Check those out. So these are kawaii. These are kawaii cubes. DC Warner Brothers K A W A I I cubes. They've got the little beads in them, like a bean bag. But how cool are those? Let me know if anybody wants those. I'll run those. Stitch alert, stitch alert. Disney Stitch. Disney Stitch plush, plush. Anybody want Stitch? This was my son's favorite stuff, plush, when he was a kid. He carried that with him everywhere. Had it for years. He probably still has it somewhere. Um, I've got another vintage Build-A-Bear. I've got another vintage Build-A-Bear. Got two vintage Build-A-Bears. So I've got that guy. Batman and the Joker, they're five bucks a piece, so it'd be ten bucks. Got two Build a Bears. You want me to run Batman and the Joker? All right, I'll run those. I'll run them together for you for ten bucks. Uh, 
that's okay. That's going to be over a pound. So. I have never seen those before. Kawaii cubes. Those are cool. Oh, he's upside down. <laughs> I mean, they passed the smell test, which is good for being in a unit. All right. Batman and the Joker go to REO013. Batman and the Joker, REO013 for 10 bucks. Funko? Uh, yeah, I've got some Funko. Let me get back to those. Um, is our is our person that wanted the um, the Build-A-Bear still here? Because I've got these two Build-A-Bears. This, this one I know is... Oh, I was asking if those were made by Funko. Um, no, they're made, they're made by Kawaii, Kawaii Cube. I don't believe they were made by Funko. Wish Factory, Kawaii Cubes, Wish Factory, Inc. The Wish Factory, LLC. Yeah, so. It's over there. Oh, I thought you said phone. Oh, the two Build-A-Bears? No on the two Build-A-Bears? Okay. All right, let's see here. I got... Oh, this is cool. How about this Build-A-Bear? That is cool. Nickelodeon. That's um, what is it? Little rescue dog. No, it's not. It's um, build a pup. Turbo. Yes, thank you. Interested in that one from Build a Bear. Build a pup. <laughs> Turbo from Paw Patrol. Toy. Yeah, I got this guy here. This is a Douglas. I've heard that name before. There's a Thai Fully, Thai Disney. Oh, this is Dan D, Collector's Choice. Check that guy out. Hey, Crash Dummy, welcome in. All right, so I've got all those. I got some more tie in here. Got some more Mickey in here. Got another baby worm. Oh, Toys R Us. Toys R Us alert. 
Toys R Us. Yeah, the, that was Paw Patrol Turbo. All right, I've got, oh, I've got three big bags of, I don't know what's in them, but they look soft and plushy. So let's take a look at our soft and plushy Ugh, bags here. Oh, was it, was it Marshall or Turbo? Because I think somebody said Turbo. Battery operated turbocharger road racing set. Still has all four cars in it. The box is worse for wear, but it looks like, holy cow. Okay, the, um, the power unit is missing. Mm -hmm. So no, it's the there's a block power yeah. block right here that's oh, missing. Okay. All right, but let me um, everything else is here. There's a slit in there. So look at all this. All the track is there. All the cars are there. The controllers are there. The power block is the only thing that's missing. That little black power block right there. The only thing that's missing. But that is. That is vintage. Huh? No, that's 2001. So it's vintage. Not as old as I thought it was. You can still get the power. But button, right? yeah, you can get the power supply now because it's not as old as I thought it was. But that is vintage slot cars. All four slot cars still in there. The controller is still in there. The track looks like it has not been put together. Looks like they took it out and did something with the power supply. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here in these bags. Got a pumpkin. Hyper light, kids. Life vest. Got a bunch of kids. Chuck E. Cheese. I've got baby Crocs. Got a Russ plush. Welcome to Las Vegas. Got a little blanket in there. Cost Cash. K O S K A S H. Established 2003. Gund, Zag by Gund. You have Zig, this is Zag. Got more kids' shoes. So they're size 40 women's shoes. Those are nice, suede. Got a Mickey. It's so fine. It's so funny. You my mind. Hey, Mickey. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, wow. Check this out. Look at those suede boots. Oops. Mickey, get get off the boots, Mickey. All right, let me unpin that. Look at those boots. Swain. We got QTX slip ons. Could you model them? No, actually, I couldn't. They won't fit. And if they do fit, I'll fall flat on my face. Of course, that's what you want, though, isn't it? You want to see some, some comedy. <laughs> you want to see some comedy. Got a unicorn plush. Battery operated, so I'm not sure what he does. Probably lights up. Got some baby Reebok, well, toddler Reeboks. Oh, 
Oh. Hey, Yeti. Or Ra. I think these would be too too uh, too big for. These are nine and a half. It says nine and a half, but I don't believe it. We will tip. <laughs> well, the tip, yeah, as long as the tip covers a trip to the ER, I'm fine with it. Oh, those are cool. Anybody need a paint roller? Oh, it'll still work. Paw Patrol. Size 11, Paw Patrol. So, oh. What is that, a Sock Monkey, 2003? Sock Monkey, 2003. I'm finding some cool stuff in here, guys. Okay, that's just wrong. <laughs> yeah, Sock Monkey. Anybody remember Sock Monkeys? Oh, I'm sorry, 2009, not 2003. Boy, for, for having new glasses, I'm still not reading very well. Happy Halloween. Got a little resin punk in there. Got a nice uh, Universal Threads XXL. Well, that's nice. That's thick. Passes the smell test. Universal threads. Those are really nice. That's Full Circle Trends, made in Bangladesh, extra large. Yeah. Baby Bib. Another one. This is a Full Circle Treads, Trends, made in Bangladesh, medium. Those are cute. Now's the time to be wearing them. This is, what do we got here? O to something. I'm not sure what that is. All right, I'm going to move on here. Candy cane. Put these little plushies back in here, the baby shoes back in here, the uh, life vest, baby Crocs. Those are so cool. Somebody was looking for Jelly Cat plush. I did not see any Jelly Cat plush. But let's see what we have. Next bag. Oh, goodness. Pillow Pet, 2010 Pillow Pet. Sesame Street, okay, Sesame Street backpack. What stuff in it? Let's see what's in it. 
Great Wolf Lodge. Oh, that's cool. Nickelodeon uh, Paw Patrol hat. Another Paw Patrol hat. These are snapback. A Mickey Mouse hat with the ears. Holy cow. Kangol Flex Fit hat. More ears from Great Wolf Lodge. That's from, um, uh, what's it called? Um, Spyro? The second movie, I think. Yes. Hey, Purple Chicken Lady, how you doing? Hey, Yeti, what did you call Purple in for? Tails. Oh, thank you. Tails from Sonic. How you doing, Purple Chicken Lady? Did you more, did you need pumpkins? Got uh, construction for a while. <laughs> Had work this morning. Tired, yeah. All right, so we've got vintage stuff in here. That's a nice little a whole bunch of vintage stuff in here. Paw Patrol. Got the uh, baby turtle. Gofa. G-O-F-F-A. More of these. So it looks like another Build-A-Bear with a Trolls shirt. So for all six stamp books would be 120, the shipping. Um, I might be able to get that into two. I might be able to get that into two flat rate boxes. You grab a, a large flat rate box to see if we can fit. Yeah, they should be in there on the up on the shelf. Oh, well, this guy's cool. Clean Earth Collection, Spunky Pop. So Rio, we're checking on that for you. I know three of them should fit in a, um, oh yeah, that was a hedgehog. Peekaboo toys. All right, let's see what we've got on those. All right, let's see here. Well, that's not gonna fit in here. Oh gosh, let's see if that'll even fit. No. That way. Oh. I get two in there. Yep, two. Okay, we can do two at a time in a flat rate, so it would be three flat rate boxes, or let's see how much they weigh. So that's 14, 21, 42, 43 pounds, or I can put them in three flat rate boxes. Book rate. Okay, we can take the leaves out of here and get more and pull these and send these separate. Technically, they're books. Um, I can look into that too. I'm not sure if they would do that because they're not bound. So about 27 shipping. Um, that that probably with the flat rate. Yeah, with the cost of flat rate. Yeah, I don't know if you can, you, you can't media ship because they're not fixed books. They're, you can take the pages out. So yeah, you'd probably be looking with all three, because we do it in three different boxes. So you get flat, so you get flat rate. So it'd be about 27, around $27 shipping. 
Yeah, that's that's the best on those. I mean, 20 bucks a piece. And that one book has got all those loose stamps. And that, I, I'm not sure what that one of Hitler is worth, but it's uncanceled. And a bunch of those that are like that. All right, no worries. I'll let you think about it. You know, I always I always try to start at the lowest price possible, and that's 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 the lowest on those. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna do a little walk around the store here, so let's uh, let's take a little trip here. I'm gonna get out of my little corner here and see see what we got here. All right, here we go. Bloop. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, artichoke. Okay, so we've got some more biblical type movies. Got some more movies here. More DVDs. Eh. Let's see, what new stuff did we get in? Oh, so we've got these women's tanks, tank tops, all in motion from Target. They're navy, gray, and white. There's three of them in a bag. There's an all-in-motion tank tops by Target. Get three of them in a bag. I'm going to start them at five bucks. They're $18 a piece at Target. And I've got sizes extra small all the way up to double X, 2XL. And like I said, there's three in each. So five bucks a piece. You get the navy, the gray, and the white. Five bucks a piece. Let me know if you want me to run any of those. Tank. Yes, there's those are tank tops. Where's that one that was open? Oh, right here. So they're tanks. And they've got this design on the bottom. So they're tanks. Tanks a lot. All in motion. And I looked it up and that's a Target brand. But it looks like somebody packaged three apiece. So gray, navy, and white. And I looked at Target and they've got those for $18 a piece. Five bucks for three of them. Oh, look, we got some more pops. So, yeah, five bucks for a set of three tanks with the uh, the cutout design. Size extra small, medium, large, XL, and 2XL. Those are cute, and they're a great deal. Panoramic Swiss Vista. And I've got the Brady Bunch Party Game. Wonderful Life trivia game, categories, more puzzles. Guys, we got a bunch of different stuff. Uh, connects. The box is in terrible shape, but Rocket Coaster. Clothes can be very expensive. Yes, absolutely. Oh, Frozen. Got any Frozen fans? Got a 3D puzzle. Frozen 2. Got the Alaskan Gold Rush game. I think this one was 1991. Manufactured in the US. Sealed. And I've got the uh, the Christmas ornaments. Yeah, that 3D Frozen 2 puzzle sounds fun. Size so large pack of tank tops. All right, let me see here. Oh, I've also got a whole bunch of these. LOL surprise dance-off trading cards. Got a whole case of them, 16 of those. Um, let me see. Size large in the tanks. 
XXL, XXL. Extra small. Okay, where'd they go? Small. 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 Okay, where'd the other box go? Where did the other box go? It's like, where'd the other shoe fall? All right. Hey, Brian, where'd the rest of those tank tops go? Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Looking for large. You said large, right? Size large. Yep. So I've got. All right. How many you want? You just want one? All right. Those couple Funkos. All right. So we've grabbed these large. Those couple Funkos were Shrimp Morty and Slick Morty. <laughs> From Rick and Morty. All right. So we've got the large tanks. Anything else? Let's, see. Let's go ahead and run the large tanks. Anybody else want any of those tank tops while I'm running them? Field Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh Yu cards? I don't see any. I've got one more one more table to go over there to see what we've got in the boxes today from the storage unit. So give me one second here. Uh, this is. All in motion tanks, large, five bucks. One to two, just over a pound. Firm all come on. There we go. All right. Start auction. Five bucks. And just remember, um, because they are just over a pound, um, what not? Anything from one to five pounds is the same price. So you've got another four pounds worth of stuff that you can get for free shipping from this point on. But yeah, I don't control that shipping price. All right. So not interested in those. Where'd you go? Did I lose you? Shipping is high. Yeah. But see, once you reach that, because they're just over a pound, once you reach that one pound, rate that's all the shipping you're going to pay for that all the way up to five pounds it's one price through whatnot for one to five pounds so no worries if you're not interested i'll, I'll put these Here. back what about an envelope is it an envelope they're just at one pound so i can take the hangers out if you want me to take the hangers out and just put them i can reduce as much as possible to get them below because they're just over a pound I can get them down to like maybe 12 or 13 ounces if you want me to do that. Let me see what that does. All right, let me uh, let me do that. Let me edit that. And I can take those. So I can take them down to 12 ounces. Yeah, let me see what, let me see what those weigh. And then we'll just put them in a poly bag. Or I should say a whatnot bag. Okay, so that is, yeah, all right.
How's that? Is that better? And I'll just, like I said, I'll take them out of the bag. I'll take them off the hanger and put them in a poly bag. And they're at, they're at 11 ounces now. What's the, what's the price it's given you? All right, let me do this. Let me do, all right, I'm going to add a new one. And they're going to be all in motion tanks. Five pounds, quantity one. Eight to 11 ounces. Confirm. All right, they're they're listed at eleven ounces because they come up to nine and nine point five ounces plus the the poly bag is going to be another ounce or two, so eleven ounces. What's it telling you on the uh, on the rate? Hey, Ray Ball, how's it going? Nope. All right, I can't do anything about it then. But like I said, once you buy that, anything else up to five pounds, you're not paying any more shipping. All right, no worries. We'll move on. Sorry about that. I mean, like I said, you can buy two pair, I mean, two sets, and you're not going to pay any more shipping. All right, let's see what else we've got. Meh. Oops. Sorry, you lost there for a second. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we've got here. There were Funko on the back shelf. All right, let's go take a look. So you're talking about these? The slick and the shrimp? Since these were on the shelf, they're, they're 20 bucks a piece. Just kidding. They're, they're still, I started them at two, so they're still at two. So you want me to run those? All right. We've got uh, sets of the um, ceramic coffee mugs, if you guys are interested. Um, set of six in the box. Um, I can show you those if anybody's interested. Let me uh, run these Funkos. All right, let me see if I've got any more Funkos to run. Okay, Funko Pop number two. Let's go ahead and do that one. So we're going to do Shrimpy Morty. And that is running at two bucks. Looks like Treasure's going to take home some more Funkos. Records? Uh, yes, I have some records I just saw over there. Give me a second. All right, Treasure Thrift takes home another Funko. This one? Yep. And then let's do another Funko. And we'll do the other Slick Morty. Look at that, the price at 15 bucks. You're getting these for two bucks. Unless anybody else wants to join in. You know what you're getting. You know what you're getting. All right. Congratulations. That is also Treasure Thrift. All right. Let me see what I've got in the record department. Oh, where'd they go? Where'd the records go that were in the bin right here? Oh, over there. I put them in the little box, the little wooden oh, box. Here we go, guys. I'm on my way back. Okay. <laughs> Do 
Not at five pounds after six Funkos? Really? Wow. Oh, after six Funkos? Yeah, because they're, um, they're I think, um, eight to 11. All right, so let's see here. All right, so albums. So I've got some album sleeves. Let me find the albums. So I got Pat Benatar. See if the record's still in there, be sure, because some don't have a record. Yeah, I know. There, this, there's some sleeves. That's Rod Stewart. Yeah, some people sell the sleeves. This person was selling sleeves. Uh, this looks like Jake Giles Band. Blow your face out. <laughs> and they all, he's they've got plastic on them. So they took care of them to sell them. And we've got Moby Grape. San Francisco Sound, Moby Grape. American Woman, the Guess Who. Dang. Foreigner. Oh. Cold as Ice, Double Vision, Head Games, Waiting for a Girl Like You, Feels Like the First Time, Urgent, Dirty White Boy, Jukebox Hero, Long, Long Way From Home, Hot-Blooded. Has an issue a major issue right there on the album cover, but the album's in there. Love that album. Best to Rod Stewart. James Taylor. <laughs> Looks, like he... Looks like a completely different person, doesn't he? Sweet Baby James. Ted Nugent, Double Live. Ted Nugent, wow. Welcome in guys, welcome in. Doing our first unboxing show. This all came from a storage unit. No idea what I'm getting into here. Pat Travers Band. Wait a minute, let me make sure that there's... Feels like, yep. Yep, it's there. Two. Starting at two bucks a piece. Okay, again, no, no record, just the cover. Too bad. Those are some cool covers. No record. No record. You just want the records, not just the covers. Oh man. Fog hat. That's a bummer. John Lennon with Yoko Ono. Eddie Money. All right, let me put that. Make sure Eddie Money's got an album in it. Yep. So we've got an Eddie Money. Yes, all of these that I'm showing you have the albums. The ones that don't have the albums, I'm putting over there. She's beside you, letter, watership down. Highway Park One, Who Loves You, Amber Cascade, She's a Liar, Can't See You, Don't, uh, produced by, by George Martin. The Best of Bread. Wow. These have all got the albums in them. <laughs> Mount Sai High School Band, really?
Not sure if you're going to be wanting a high school band album. Can't believe a, a high school band made an album. How cool is that? Tim Creakle. Crazy me. Oh, BTO, Bachman Turner Overdrive, before they were BTO, <laughs> Carrie Chatter, Part-Time Love, these are some ones that are, no idea who these guys are, we got here, Dog and Butterfly, Oh, that's a heart album. Tight shoes. Fog hat. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Live and Kickin', West, Bruce, and Lang, and Lang. All right, that's it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. 13, holy cow, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 albums, 19 if you don't count the high school album, so 19 albums right there. Get your weight on those. You say two dollars each. Yeah. So that's um, that would be thirteen pounds with shipping with packing. And what did I say? Eighteen. <sighs> no, nineteen albums. Thank you. Well, tw yeah, 20 if you in include the high school band. So 40 bucks to start. And if you want all the album covers, boom, 40 bucks. Those will not fit in a flat rate. Run individually. Anybody else want me to run them individually? Anybody want the, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to start with the lot for 40. And then if nobody wants that, then I'll run them individually. So I'm gonna I'm gonna list the lot. So I'm gonna list the lot, and you'll see the total cost with shipping. Do you want the covers or no? Because the covers are gonna add weight to it. I'll run it without the covers. Okay. Add. Copies. Lot of 20 awesome tunes. 
Alright. Yeah, I'll flip through them one more time. Okay, got the high school band. Got one of the best albums in the world, Foreigner. Has an issue with the cover, but the album is there and sounds as awesome as possible. American Woman by the Guess Who. You've got Moby Grape, San Francisco band from back in the day. You've got the Jay Giles Band. I think that's actually a two-album set. Yeah, see, some of these you're getting are two-album sets, and I'm not charging you per album. Rod Stewart. Pat Benatar. Eddie Money. Pat Travers Band Live. Ted Nugent, Double Live. There's another two there. James Taylor. Best of Rod Stewart. That looks like two albums there. Wet Bruce and Lang. Fog Hat, Tight Shoes. Heart, another awesome group, another awesome album. Carrie Chatter. Nobody I know. <laughs> BTO, Bachman Turner Overdrive. Two, their second album. Tim Creakle, Crazy Me. The Best of Bread also looks like two albums. Not sure who this is. America. Oh, okay. That's America. America. I like that he's got these protective covers on these. So that's your uh, that's your set. That's your awesome set. Most unbelievable price for all of those. And we're going to run that right now. We're running that, guys. Awesome, awesome. Boy. I mean, you're getting all of them. Somebody knows what they're getting. 40 bucks. That's going to go for 40 bucks, really? That went for 40 bucks. Steve. Let me know when you resell them, what you get for them. I'm curious. <laughs> All right, so that's Steve Lim. Steve L-I-M. Awesome, awesome. Steal of the day. Steal of the day. I love it. I love it. I love that music. What VHS movies? Okay, give me a... Um, Yeah. Shipping was sixteen thirty five on those, on what the uh, the albums? That's cheap. <laughs> so VHS, I've got a bunch of um, Bible movies. I've got uh, the Ten Commandments, the original. I've got um, um, Jezebel and. Esther and all those um, in sealed. Those are the sealed ones I got from this unit today. Okay, and there's a, another box of VHS tapes up there. 
So are you looking for something specific, some genre? Because I've got like the classic religious movies, five pack, classic biblical chronicles. And these are all the classics. They're not remakes. These are all sealed. So those are what I got sealed out of this unit. Let me know if you're interested in those. Then I've got a DVD set behind enemy lines. Yeah. I've got a horror movie. Dogged. I don't know why, but this guy had four of these. Hey guys, welcome in. We're just going through storage unit today. So that's the that's the VHS sealed. Excuse me, that's the sealed VHS I've got right now. I've got the Avon um, cologne bottles that are full. So all that plush that I have, I still have a bunch of Funkos. Uh, I got a bag of books. So, I'm sorry, uh, Rio, you said something earlier. Let me swing back over here. Does each stamp book have a, a time period? Really, I'm interested in trying not to make you spend too much time on them. Um, I don't know if they have specific time periods, but they're they're all different different sets. If you look up... American Commemorative Collective Collections. It's American Commemorative Collections okay. from the United States Postal Service. You'll probably find what those are. So just look that up and you'll probably see what, what the sets are. So I've got books. Got these guys here. Which Funkos? Okay, give me one second. Oh, hello. Got the gunfighters. Got the soldiers. Huh? Oh, we got it? 10 by 20 by it's huge. Oh. Guys, we just got another storage unit. I found a Bible. I found a Bible. Who was looking for a Bible earlier? Are you still here? Gift and Award Edition, Tyndale House, Wheaton, Illinois. Printed in China. Nineteen ninety six. So that's a nineteen ninety six. Oh, somebody had a magnified bookmark. I need that. <laughs> Am I interested in that nineteen ninety six Bible? Oh, that's right, bearded guy. Our family register. Oh, it's a genealogy book. Put where the ancestors lived, weddings, great grandparents' side of the family, mother's side of the family, the family tree, grandchildren's descendants, our family. That's interesting. April 1978. Whew. You know that's old because there's no UPC.
real, I can't. That's he's he's that's the best he's he's willing to he wanted to do 30 a buck, but we're doing 20. So I can't do any I can't do any more for you on those camp books. Now, you know, if you come in and there's stuff that we can go lower on, I will. I'll always do that for you. I just cannot go any lower than 20 a piece on the books. You can think about it. Nobody's going to take them today. I'll be back on Thursday. Nobody's going to be buying them before then. So think about it, but I cannot go any lower than 20 a piece on them. I know the shipping's going to get you, but the post office gets that. I don't. <laughs> Another family tree book. Um, this one is... 1977 you know i it would be cool it's cool to see these new but it would be really cool if there were actually information in there what were the covers of records you were when you get a chance oh without records yeah let me take a look at those another family tree book holy cow Big family well no they weren't written in oh, okay. another 1977 It's a family of the invisible man. <laughs> Bible stories. Bible stories that live. What year is this? That's an old book, man. That's... 1966. Yeah. Bearded guy needs to take a look at this. 1966. Somebody ping him again. Any guitars or instruments? Oh, I sold it yesterday. We sold a nice guitar yesterday. What was it? It was a... Uh... Fender. It was a Fender Mini. Something Mini. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we sold that yesterday. You know what? We just got another storage unit. So. Might be another guitar. We might be another guitar. Um, all right. Let's see here. Um, oh, so the covers. All right. So any interest in any of these books? We got the family tree. We got three different family trees. We got. The uh, Western books got a couple. Uh, the Splendor of Shadow and From Heaven with Love. We got the Holy Bible and Bible stories that live. All right. So you wanted to know about the album covers. So you get sleeves, John Lennon, Yoko Ono. Hey, welcome in, welcome in, appreciate you coming in. You got Fog Hat. Uh, looks like the Beatles yesterday and today, just the back. Unless that's, yeah, just the back of the Beatles one. Got Megadeth. These guys. Back to Earth, Rare Earth, and it's like Nazareth sleeve. So that's what we've got for the ones that don't have albums. You know, maybe they were in a different place um, that they didn't get put in the storage. Yeah, Washington State. Um, thanks, Yeti. Um, okay, so any Western stuff, like what? What kind of Western stuff? I no, I don't think no. so. Western shirts, belts, no. When the Duke died, I got the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, nothing there. Somebody was asking me about the pops earlier. So I'm going to run through the pops really quick that are left. I've got DC Comics, Batgirl. I've got Etta Candy from Wonder Woman. 
Remember, she was the assistant for 19, the, um, from the original Wonder Woman. Uh, we've got Suicide Squad, Enchantress. We've got, let me unpin that. We've got Player 199 from Squid Game. Yeah, no, there is no guitar today. We sold it yesterday. But we're we're going to pick up a new unit, so might have another one. Um, KT by um, Legend of the Ten Rings, Shang G, Legends of the Ten Rings. Uh, we've got another Squid Game person. We got Masked Worker from Squid Game. We've got Boastful Loki. From yes. Warner Brothers Studio Loki. And what is this? Uh, Electro from Spider Man 2. I just went through a whole bunch today. And we're gonna we're gonna start that's gonna be Tuesdays and Thursdays going uh, going through unboxing and walking through the warehouse. So that's what we've got. Um, had a bunch of done a bunch of different puzzles over here. Nobody was interested in those. Um, that's fine. We had some plush. Those will go out on the shelves. Um, Junes, welcome in. Welcome in. When is the new storage unit you just got today being done? Um, tomorrow morning, I guess. Um, we'll probably pick it up tomorrow, so we'll probably do it Thursday. Junes, everybody, if you're not following Junes, please give Junes a follow. Hey Kells, hey Kel BZ, welcome in. Appreciate you coming in. We're just um, we're just wrapping things up here, but I appreciate you guys being here. Junes, follow Junes two three three. She's another reseller up here in Washington. Um, Junes, we just got through, uh, started at nine thirty, went through a whole bunch of unboxing stuff from a storage unit, but we just closed on a ten by twenty five. Um, personally, I have a cowboy hat, but I don't have any cowboy hats here. Um, but we're probably going to pick up the storage unit tomorrow. So we will, should have some stuff here Thursday. So Thursday at 1130 AM Pacific time, I will be here with more stuff, tons more stuff. Um, yeah, 10 by 25. Holy cow. We might have to, uh, rent that for a half a month or something to get through it. They're giving us... Yeah, well, we can probably, you, you can rent them to extend your time. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so we're going to have to take a look at that tomorrow morning. Did you have action figures? The only things I had this time were pops. The only action figure I've still got sitting over here is this Lord of the Rings Twilight Frodo. But I um, have no idea what I'm going to find in this unit when we go pick it up. But tomorrow night... At 6 p.m. from home, tons of Lego minifigures, tons of Barbie stuff, um, NASCAR diecast collectibles. I've got some T-shirts. I've got still got some Harley T-shirts left. Um, may have some jackets and coats. I've got the Steve Young jersey that I'm going to be running um, now that the Niners have made it all the way to where they are. Steve Young jersey, which is really interesting. Nobody's wanted that Steve Young the past three times, and I wasn't going to run it again, but they are where they are, so I'm going to run it one more time, and if nobody wants it, it's it's never going to be on whatnot again. Um, so how much for the Frodo? Five bucks. You want, you want Frodo? Do you, do you want a little uh, invisible Frodo? <laughs> I know, right? Pass. Okay, no worries. No worries. How about these books? Are you in guitar books? Anybody want any guitar books? We don't have the guitars, but we got the books. Finger and guitar. So you stick your finger in the hole. <laughs> Yeah.
Yay, nay, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. Two dollars. Yes, no, maybe so, maybe not, maybe so. Nope. All right. Guys. Wrap it up. Hi, hi, hi. I've had fun. Have you? I hope you guys have had a good time. Uh, we got through some stuff. Some stuff you guys weren't interested. That's cool. That's cool. We'll just put it on the shelves because we've got this big warehouse here um, that other people will come in and like. But I want to show you guys something that I told you I was going to show you at the beginning. We are in the middle of a remodel of sorts here. Check this out. I don't know if you've been with me before, but basically what it was before was all this. But we are starting our shelving. Oh, and I'll be doing the magazines. I didn't even get to the magazine lots. Um, music and heavy metal and guitar magazines. Anyway, these shelving units we're going to put on every table. So we're going to get some organization in here. I've got Yeti Spaghetti coming over um, with Sapphire Dragon that they're going to do a um, some organization for us. We're going to be putting shelves over here. We're going to be putting shelves over here. So it's going to be one, two, three shelves all the way down, all the way back. Yeah, Yeti and, and Sapphire Dragon are going to really help us out here uh we'll keep, yeti's my better half so she um if i succeed she succeeds i didn't even get a chance to run this guys i will be running this this time i mean next time look at this look at this ephemera there's 1930s and 1940s in here this might be interesting for somebody yeah. In the 40s. Um, again, no cowboy boots right now. Look at that. Who remembers the Greg Ryder? Who's willing to say they remember the, the Greg Ryder? Look at those. The people that like ephemera, I'll be running those next time. Yeah, I don't have any cowboy boots this time, but um, I will be on the lookout for them. Send me a message and let me know what you're looking for and give me specific sizes so I can look. I mean, I didn't get to any of this stuff today. There's another um, Build-A-Bear. So come back tomorrow night at 6 and then Thursday at 11.30 a.m. and we'll find some more goodies. Bookmark, let me know what you want me to run. Follow. You guys over there on Facebook or YouTube, send me a message. Give me some comments. Let me know if you like the show. If you don't have a link to why not, not why not, what not, let me know and I'll get it for you. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out who we can raid. Don't forget to bookmark and share. Guitar books. Oh, somebody said guitar books. Yeah. Corey, brother, I didn't know you were still hiding in there. Appreciate you so much, Corey. You've taught me a lot. Um, love watching your shows guys. If you're not watching Corey, you better be, you better be, you're not getting the full, the full experience. experience of whatnot. If you're not watching Corey and following him and getting in on his shows, great guy, great person. Um, a lot of fun. Um, now they're doing some killer chocolates. Um, just unbelievable. I haven't got any yet, but I will. All right, guys, I'm going to see who's open so we can follow. I mean, raid. Love you guys. Take care. And, Let's go check out. Oh, let's 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 read Walker again. He was really appreciative last time. I like this guy.